What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Dominican John with the cue of the day. The question of the day comes from my boy Tyree. My man is verified artist. My man is signed. My man getting his money, but my man is not doing the social media marketing part correctly. Now, why do I say that? Because he's not on TikTok. So the man asked me the question months ago when I told that man to get on the app, and he didn't want to get on the app, but now he's on the app. And he was like, Oh, I've been waiting for me to drop this song so I could start promoting my song on the app. And the question of the day is, should you promote your music on TikTok? And the quick answer is no. Dramatic effect or dramatic pause. Guys, you can't get on this app and just give people your music. That's not the point of the app. The point of the app is to build a community. How do you build a community? By talking to your peers, by making content, by doing duets, by doing um rap battles or uh freestyles or showing people the value you have to offer as an artist now i'm working with someone named kj music and the man needed a whole um let's say a restart button on what to do when you're making content you are not an artist when you are making content you are a content creator and you have to think like a content creator if you're sad you do a little sad fucking freestyle if you're happy you do a little happy freestyle if um let's say what's going on right now that's crazy uh if kylie jenner calls her son wolf you make a freestyle and implement wolf's name that everyone's talking about this week into your freestyle into your rap battle into your duet do at these artists and work with these artists but let's get back to the real point guys you do not go on this app which most artists <clears throat> like let's say nikki jam for example i use them all the time i get more views and likes than nikki jam why because he comes on the app and drops music videos jordan lucas for instance i get more likes and views than jordan lucas why because he comes on the app and downloads and posts his music videos no one wants to see that shit. People want to see your daily activities. People want to see your daily raps. People want to see your daily meals. People want to see your daily routines. People want to see your daily workouts. This is how you can implement your daily lifestyle to provide value and even add your music in the background while you're working out or add your music in the background while you're jogging or add your music in the background while you're cooking it up, chefing it up, showing the extra values you have to offer to build that community, that cooking class community, that workout community, the people that want to know your um, your everyday uh, fitness journey and, and, and dietary products that you eat. Guys, TikTok is here for you and to build a family. You got to build that family first before you come on the app like, oh, I'm about to drop this new song. No, bro. No one gives a fuck if you drop in a new song. Go create music. There are artists like Caitlin Raps who just hopped on a Russ feature remix by doing a duet with Russ. There's a kid named Zay 1K. That man's a fucking beast. He hopped on three duets and hit 40, 50 million views off rip easily just by showing his value, showing his talent and hopping on someone else's song and combining those two talents together and hopped on a feature with Stacey Ryan. This is what you have to do when you get on the app. No one cares about your music. No one cares about your local music. No one cares about your, your raps and, and bars about your city. Get on TikTok and talk about real shit, real community, family things. Communicate with that other artist. Talk about shit that's on our For You page. What you see on TikTok, you will not see on any other app in the world. And I promise you, everything blows up on TikTok. Trends, dances, all that good stuff. But even drama. There'll be people with 5, 10 million followers. There'll be drama on TikTok that will not get to Twitter, that will not get to Facebook, that will not get to Instagram. Only TikTokers know about the drama. That social media platform is the number one platform right now in the world. And it stays within the platform. Now, you may see people download videos and post it on Twitter, download videos and post it on Instagram, or resurface, repurpose their videos and post it on other apps like I do. But they're not hitting exact numbers that we're hitting on TikTok. I do hit it on Facebook. Everyone hop on Facebook. 30K in like two months. But they're not hitting the, sa the same engagement, the same followers, the same viewers as it would on TikTok. Where TikTok people are actually engaging with your content. You're meeting other creators, other artists, musicians, and, and Grammy Award winners are now hopping on the platform doing open verses. Do you know what open verse challenge is? You don't because you're not on the fucking app. Hop on TikTok, guys, if you're an artist. 
do some duets, drop some brand new bars, recycle old bars, and kill the game, bro. If you have fucking talent and you think these guys are ass, I don't think they're ass, bro. I'm big fans of a lot of these people. But if you think these guys are ass, what the fuck, man? Why can't you do it? Why can't you have 10,000 followers, 100,000 followers, a million followers if you're that good? Because your marketing sucks. Because you're scared to post. Because you think this is for corny people. No, bro. I'm at 375,000 followers. I hit about 10 million views a week. I'll shake some ass for a million views. I don't go, fuck. And that's how I stay relevant. Topic of the motherfucking week, guys. This is the Q of the week. Yo, actually, ask a motherfucking question in the comments. Ask a motherfucking question anywhere so I can make more videos like this. I haven't made this video in like two, three weeks. But let's see what the topic of the week is. Christian Rock broke into Blueface crib, wrote his name in blood, stole his car, got arrested, lost her tooth. Two weeks after she came out of jail, tattooed Jonathan's pussy on her pussy. Shorty's tapped. Blueface, the game strong. You already know the vibes. I love you guys, guys. I want you guys to comment down below. Drop a fucking question, man. I'm here to answer any questions so that someone I could help that won't need to ask the question in the future or they'll come back and repurpose this video in the near future. This is for all the artists out there. Stop being a fucking pussy. Go shake some ass and drop some bars. Go wiggle some dick and drop some bars. Go take your t-shirt off and be a fuckboy and drop some bars. They will love that shit. They will eat that shit up. And if your bars are fucking, if you come correct with those bars, the rest is history. And I'll be right there to promote it the second you go viral. You got me. Don't forget. Thank you, guys. I love you guys so much. The Maker John. The wall is beautiful. Podcasts are coming soon. Interviews are coming soon. Lifestyle is great, man. I can't fucking complain. So far, so good. Same black, same hood. 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 So far, so good. Same black, same hood.